Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. This is Jacob. Mistral team just released Mistral Smooth 3 today. And it claims to have Apache 2.0 license, 81% MMLU score, and 150 tokens per second, which is awesome. And it also claims that Mistral Smooth 3 is neither trained with RL nor synthetic data, so it is earlier in the model production pipeline than models like DeepSeek R1. And it is a great base model. So when it is very competitive with larger models like Lama 3.37AB, Qn 32B, and it is an excellent open replacement for opaque priority models like GPT-40 Mini. So, and it has also have a performance uh, metrics. So from human evaluations. So for human raters, you can see that Mistral uh, Small 3 outperforms Jima 2, Q1 2.5 32B, and Q1 2.5 32B coder. And it is less effective than Llama 3.37B, GPT 4.0 Mini. But overall, it is great uh, from human evaluations. So in this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step testing for this model on VLM and open web UI. So that being said, let's get started. So we have already set up the VLM on Kaggle and also we also set up the uh, open web UI on Kaggle as well. So if you have not watched my previous videos, feel free to check that out. I'm gonna uh, show a few things we need to change to test the initial model, but overall, I think most of the steps are the same. So the first for VLM, we're going to use this uh, GGUF from Bartoski. Uh, it's very famous REPL. So we're going to use the 4-bit uh, model. So the one that we're using is this one, Q4 underscore O, or zero. So uh, that's the one thing. And the other thing is that uh, we're going to use this um, latest VLM version, so it's uh, 0 0.70. So in previous tutorials, we're using the 0 0.6.6. .6. So 0 0.7.0 0 has a huge improvement. So we can switch to this one. The speed is a lot faster. The performance is a lot more stable. So this is very really good release. So just change the VLM version to the latest one. And also um, make sure you update the params for uh, the VLM serve. Uh, the first one you have to change is for this G UF model. So we download it into the Kaggle working folder. So just use that. And also the tokenizer, make sure you use the offshore one. Okay, this is from the offshore Hugging Face Mutual AI repo. Then you have to also update the alias. So it's called a served model name to the Mutual Small 24B instruct. Uh, or the name you prefer. So, and also maybe you want to update the GPU memory utilization as well, and also the max model length, because this is actually a little bit larger than uh, the previous models. So uh, we might want to adjust the uh, max model length, which is the context window. But we're not used this to test coder, so you can just use this regular uh, size, which is like 5600. So, but that's all the change you make. So you can see that the model is spin up on port 8000 8, and we're going to uh, run it from this URL. So it's uh, 4F74. Uh, so you can see this is the URL uh, we used. Uh, it's in here. You can see this is a URL. So refresh page, this is working. So for the uh, Open Web UI, we have demoed this many times. So I'll skip that, uh, but make sure you update the environment. So to use this URL, we set up for uh, VLM. So make sure you use the uh, Open UI compatible version. So you have the slash V1, and also make sure you have the Open API key. So, uh, and that's it. So let's go to this um, Open Web UI interface. So it's already set up. So you can see we ref the page, and. So we said hello. So it says hello. How can I assist you today? So we have prepared uh, the ten prompts. So to test it, 
So let's go ahead and test all the prompts. So the first prompt we're testing is for write a Panther function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in the list. Let's paste the question. As you can see, it's very good speed. Uh, let's copy the uh, answer and paste it in the Google IDX. Let's test it. It's 12, so let's mark that as a pass. The second question, solve the following problems. So if a train travels at 60 miles for 2.5 hours, then increases its speed to 75 miles for the next 1.5 hours, what's the total distance traveled? So let's paste the question. Two six two point five. So this is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. The third question. So generate SVG code for a simple butterfly shape. So let's paste the question. Let's copy the response and paste it into this SVG website. So it is not a butterfly. Um, so let's mark that as not pass. The fourth question. So we have three gallons jug and a five gallons jug. How can you measure exactly four gallons of water? So let's paste the question. Okay, um, this is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. The fifth question. So what's the capital city of the country whose name ends with Laia? I'm referring to the country name here. Let's paste the question. Okay, um, so it says to determine the capital city of the country whose name ends with Laia, we need to clarify which country we're referring to. Zero country and with Laia. So uh, I don't think they're correct. So let's mark that as not pass. So is 3307A prime? Let's paste the question. So, it is a prime number. This is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. 
The seventh question. So I have two apples. I buy more. The bacon pie with two of the apples. After eating half the apple pie, how many apples do I have left? So let's paste the question. So there are two apples left, so this is correct. Let's mark that as a pass. So Sally is a girl, she has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? Let's paste the question. So what's the stuff? This is correct. So let's mark that as a pass. So nine. Create a Python program that prints the egg next egg blue hairs based on user input. So let's paste the question. Let's check the CPU usage. You can see the CPU uh, each has a 14.7 gigs. So um, it's a pretty good use of CPU as well. Let's go back to the Open Web UI. So let's copy the response. Let's paste it into Google IDX and test it. So enter the number of next appears to find three. So 28, 32, uh, 36. This is correct. Let's mark that as pass. The 10th question, uh, create a landing page for a AI company. So let's paste the question.
It's okay. So this is good. Um, all right. So these are all the prompts that were tested. Um, so let's mark that as a pass. So overall, I think it missed two questions. One is for the butterfly one. The other one is for the uh, country name. So, but it's a great model overall, and it is fast, and it has a Apache 2.0 license, and uh, it is pretty pretty um, good. So, overall, uh, it's a great model that we can use to test and use to assist our development. Um, so, hopefully, this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.